the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekend. Cats can't see me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and children of all ages, welcome to the sit down. It's your guy, M. Easy. We back at it again. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, because we need your help. We got kids to feed. Today, um, we have Deuce the Privileged in the building. Yes, sir. He's a clothing designer, among other things. Do you want to run down the other things you do, sir? Um, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm a serial creative. Uh, I make music. I make clothing. I act. I rap. I direct. I'm a writer. There's nothing you don't do. Honestly. And it sounds mad cliche, but I'm a real New York brother. So it's just like, you know, out here, we get in where we fit in and we grind till we find our mark. Facts. So what is the grind we, we're on today? Um, today I'm promoting my clothing. Today I'm promoting my clothing. It looks nice. I'm not going to lie to you. It looks fresh. looks clean. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's the name of the clothing line? Uh, the name of my clothing line is called Netgear. My company is Network, E-N-T, which is short for uh, Kings Now, Educating the World of Real Knowledge. Ooh. So Ooh. we went from setting up that company to a t-shirt line. My partner that passed, R.P. D-Rock, he always had like a vision of different t-shirts because everything goes through a network, right? Mm -hmm. So he had visions of like beehives, this, that, and the next. So I took some some things that we spoke about and some things that I saw and I just started making my own stuff because I was doing printing and putting stuff in stores for people. But after a while, it was like, yo, if I make my own designs, I could keep all the bread and I could still print and design for other people and put their stuff in the store. It was a win-win for me, and I'm so glad I did that. My wife is now into, um, shout out to my wife, I love that woman. She's she's like a Dominican Martha store. Okay. She makes and prints and presses everything, from cups to shirts to pants to sweaters to mats to everything. You got to, man. I, wanna, I want you and her to have a conversation. I want you to drop a little knowledge and see if you can help Definitely. her along her way. I'm, I, listen, I'm all, I'm all with helping. Like, like I said, when I walked in here, the energy was super dope, and that's what I like. I like to help others. You know, and I like when people pass it forward or pay it forward. Right? Absolutely. You know? So we got to keep it in a circle. We got to start working more with our people and going to each other before we go outside. Amen. Amen. So that's what the network is all about. Everything goes through a network. So now with the clothing line, what what are some of the um, pitfalls that, you, that you're coming across as someone that's into the industry now? Um, so with my experience with the clothing, um, for me, I see that like the designs, sometimes they take a little while to take off, right? So I have multiple designs. So sometimes my biggest difficulty, like even deciding what I was gonna make for you out of all my designs. And um, what I realized is that sometimes I'll make a design, like I got designs that I made two, three years ago that's just now taking off, that people are just now starting to buy. So like a lot of times I'll just make something for myself and I'll just walk around with it on because I'm a sneakerhead and I get fly. So what I learned is that if I get a good pair of kicks and I make something fly, People gonna be like, yo, where you get that from? And I'll be like, yeah, I made it. You made that? Yeah, check out my website. My my shout out to my cousin Jess. So he always he always put me on the game. He was he was always, listen, you need a fresh, fresh pair of kicks and a nice shirt. Jeans don't matter. And here's what's ill about that. When I'm doing my marketing and my promo, what I've realized is that when I put a fit together, let's say I put this fit, I take a picture of it, I use the iPhone to take out the background, now it's on a white background. I got higher chances of selling this. Fit if I put a pair of sneakers in the next picture to it. With it. Yes, yes, because now like, oh, they I can, can put match it. that yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah. And and I've real I, I've tried it. I've tested it. The sales go up when you put kicks in the picture. Hmm. So that's why now, like ever since I had my kids, I kind of fell back from being a sneakerhead. But like now, it's a part of the business. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I'm out here. Like I bought these a few months ago. Bought my son a pair. Bought me a pair. And I was like, Yo, you know what? Let me pull something out the box for today. Mm -hmm. Went got a fresh sweatsuit, pressed it up, and nice. like, yeah, that's how we going to do it. So now, as far as Coming up with the ideas for, for the clothing. Mm -hmm. What's the process with that? A lot of my clothes come from my lyrics. Go ahead. So, so like, for example, I have a shirt that says re-up, flip, repeat. Re-up, flip, repeat. Okay. So me and my, shout out to Chris Crown. Me and my man Chris Crown, we got a song called re-up, flip, repeat. It's real dope. And the song came from the shirt. And he was looking at the shirt. He's like, you know, we're going to make a hook out of that. Re-up, flip, repeat. Um, and then another thing is, like, my I'm, I'm really super pro-black. I love everything black. I root for everybody black. So a lot of my clothes, like for example, I have a shirt, black mixed with black. I got some stuff for y'all, y'all gonna see. Um, I have the young, the black, the gifted. Mm. Um, I have pretty for a brown girl, but 4A is cut out, so it's just pretty brown girl. Nice. So um, I have Afro-Latina, Afro-Latino. -Afro like I do a lot of stuff that's um, catered to black people, but I make stuff that's universal also. So some stuff might be my logo um, right now, 
um, I got this lion head that I'm pushing. And the reason why I did that is because I learned something in the clothing game. Somebody told me that, um, somebody taught me that people are really attached to animals. So typically clothing with animals on it do really well. So I got a mm. friend, my shout out to D Dave, he's killing, he got, a, he got this bulldog, right? That he does, he got a line called Snapper, we put the bulldog on it and it's going crazy. So I'm like, yo, you know what? And I kind of put him on to the whole how to press up and all of that. So I'm like, I'm watching him go crazy. I'm like, yo, you know what? I got these slogans and these designs and all that. Maybe I need to get an animal. Mm. So I started doing a lion and yo, people love the lion. It's mm. people who kind of like laughed at me in the beginning. That's like, yo, that's fire. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what we want. That's the response I want. So nice. Um, a lot of my inspiration comes from being pro-black and just my lyrics and just having ideas. Now, um, as a creative and someone that's doing this, how much money do you lose? Because a lot of money is lost in promotion and bad fabrics and things of that nature. If you could put a number on the money you've lost, what would you? I've invested thousands. I don't believe in losses in that sense because it's a lesson, mm. you know? Um, before I really got into the clothes crazy, I was doing music and I was running a media company. See, I'm one of those people, I don't really like to pay for a lot of things, so I do my best to learn everything on my own so, or, or if I get tired of paying for something, I learn how to do it myself and then once I learn how to do it for myself, I get paid to do it for others. Nice. So by the time the clothing thing came around, I, pre, I, had, a good hands on, um, I had a good hand on marketing, promo, this, that, and the next. I would say a lot of the money, though, that if if it is lost, is just from giving away free stuff. But that's a part of the game. That's a promo tool. I remember early on with The Breakfast Club, they would have a lot, because The Breakfast Club was a nationally nationally syndicated program. It's They're everywhere. They would get merch from everywhere. This is when I was a little broke. I mean, I'm still a little broke, nigga, but whatever. Um... I would be like, I'm going shopping in the Breakfast Club closet. Would y'all want any of this? And they're like, no, nah, go ahead. And I'm, and then I would get, I, I wouldn't think anything of it. I'd wear the thing, do my do my thing, and I would get tagged. Oh, would you get my shirt? Thank you. I'm like, oh no, I, and I felt guilty. Like, damn, I, I took it from I the took breakfast. It. <laughs> I took it from the Breakfast Club. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, but I, I, as, as a creator, I wouldn't be mad at that. I want somebody to wear it. Like, even if let's say I gave you something and you're like, yo, you know what? This might not be for me. Put it on somebody that's gonna wear it then. As long mm. as somebody wears it. Because I have so many people that hit me up and be like, yo, I just saw somebody with your shirt on, Cali. Yo, I'm out the country. I saw somebody with your... Like, I got... My my brand has been places I haven't been yet. Mm. And I love that. So, you know, I, I look at giving away stuff. I look at it as, as promo. Because, for example, let's say um, on average, I sell a sweatsuit for $125, right? And let's say it cost me half of that to make, right? So let's say I give away two sweatsuits, right? On, a, on, on the back end... That's technically, you know, two fifty. But what it cost me was only one twenty five. So now let's say I give it to somebody and they actually wear it. I just pay one twenty five for promo. Mm. So it just it just depends on how you look at it, and you can't really let that discourage you. You just got to keep doing you like persistence beats resistance every time. <sighs> Facts. That's a bar right there. So how far are we trying to take this clothing line? What what are some of the goals we're trying to hit? Um, honestly, I just wanna I like to make people feel good. So. I really want to get in a space where people are just hitting me up for straight customs. Like, I put up stuff because I'll do something and I'll put it on the site and they'll order it. But I like when you say, yo, deuce, I got these kicks. I can't find nothing to match. I got you. Just send me the picture. And it brings a joy to me to see how happy people are when they receive their product and they put that on and they feel good. Like, like people be moving like they wearing Versace or something when they be putting my stuff on. And I really love that. Like, that makes me feel great because I'm, I'm a creative. So any way that I could express my creativity and watch it grow, that's dope. So with the clothing, I just want to see people get fly, bro, and I just want to like, customize and make stuff wherever I can, really. like I just love to do it, and it's good money. Deuce, thank you for coming. I think... I appreciate you your, having me, bro. Your energy permeates you. Before you even said anything, I could feel... Pause, I could feel your force. Um, I wish you much luck. In the in the future, I definitely want to see what you bought from here. Oh, yeah, I got. You want to do that now? Let's do it. Let's see yeah, let's do, do that now. You know, we will. We can see what we bring. Got a couple things for you here. I got something for the good brother Scripps over here. Oh, here we go. Cause you know Scripps line me up. <laughs> Scripps line me up. So I had to. Yo, you you know got to take care of the plug. You got to take care of the plug. I'm leaving. I'm leaving M, son. I ain't fucking with M. M no love. Oh, don't, right. don't, don't, don't go nowhere yet. Don't go nowhere yet. You know. A lot, a lot of people want freebies in this world, you know, but this is America. So if you're going to hit me, listen, pay me or leave me alone. 
Don't let him know that. Oh, Adam don't love me, son. I don't know right now. What you mean? <laughs> Adam don't love me, boy. Because they know, they, know, they know how I'm coming. Either pay me. Leave I'm, me out, alone. I'm out here. I'm out here in the streets for Adam. And then when you, then when you switch it up, you know, oh, you got the tough. lion head. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's tough. With, with the 3M reflection. I can so see my wife pitch, is definitely taking that from me. Don't worry. I'll make you another one. No problem. <laughs> I, I'll set you out. Yeah, his and hers. Oh, appreciate you. No problem, see that? Brother. Adam don't love me, though. And, no and, and problem. What's, this, what's the line called again? It's called Netgear. Netgear. You can check us out at netgear.com, K-N-E-T-G-E-A-R. And I'm going to leave you with one of these, because if you forget that, all you got to do is scan that bar. You didn't bring them for my music. For, I didn't know he was here, but I got him and the young lady. Don't worry. I'm going to bring some back. Listen, right, let's support my guy. Deuce the Privilege. You know what I mean? I'm on all social media. Deuce Privy, GED Mentality. Check out the music. Black yes. Wall Street. All that good stuff. We're going to be seeing more of my guy. Thank, Thank you for you. coming I, through again. I truly appreciate you for having me. Um, I always wanted to come up here. <laughs> Scripts finally made it happen. You know what, you know what I'm is. saying? <laughs> now, now when you check your DM, you probably gonna see all them DMs I've been sitting. <laughs> and, and look, that goes back to what I said. It's Persistence, yes. peace, resistance, and timing is everything. Amen. You know. So thank you again for having me, Scripts. Thanks for the plug. And my brother on the camera, I appreciate you too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, to sit down. Thank you, Deuce and Prince, for coming through. Make sure you go like, subscribe, share the comments and all that good stuff, and be a part of my guy Deuce the Privilege's clothing line, the music, and everything he's doing. Let him know how to follow you on the gram. Follow me on the gram. D-U-C-E-D-A-P-R-I-V-I-L-E-G-E. Deuce the Privilege. If you can't remember that, Netgear. K-N-E-T-G-E-A-R. Thank and you. And the shit is fly. I ain't gonna lie to you. So appreciate sit down. You. Come and catch the vibe. Welcome to Easy Weekend. It's Easy Weekends. Cats can't see me.